Hey folks, how you doing out there today? Um, you're just in time folks, I'm going to start doing a healthy cooking show here real soon, alright? So come on up. How you doing? What's your name? Hey Bob, hey Bob, how you doing there? I got a nice healthy veggie slaw here I made for you guys to try. I got free salad here. I got a couple different dressings for you. I have Italian, I have some uh, ranch dressing. So come on up. Here, you like salad? Yeah. Here you go, Bob. Come on up. Like I said, it's a nice veggie slaw. Is that your lovely wife you got with you there? Wow. Hey, how you doing there, Mary? Mary is your name. That's right. I met you guys earlier. You told me that. So like I said, um, I have this nice veggie slaw up here. Mary, would you like ranch dressing? Here you go, Mary. Hey, have a seat right there, guys. Yeah. Nice veggie slaw here. Okay. We've got nine different veggies, like I said. Said that already. So I got a green cabbage, I got some red cabbage in here. More like purple cabbage, right? Some celery, some carrots, some onions in here. I have some butternut squash, some cucumbers in here. Really, really nice stuff, healthy, full of antioxidants and fibers, really good for your body, right? You can eat as much of this as you'd like and still not gain an ounce, right? <laughs> really healthy for you too, helps you clean your blood out. Um, this is a good salad because it's hearty. I have no lettuce in here. When you put lettuce in a salad, what happens? You notice it gets all wilted in the day or so, and the water comes out of it, it gets all soggy too, right? So this is gonna hold up a lot longer. This will hold up three to five days in your fridge. You should keep it covered in there. You know, you can go different, different directions with this salad too. You can turn this into like a summer style salad, a fall style salad. You know, you can put apples in here, you can put some cram dried cranberries in here, some, um, you can put some dried pecan, I'm sorry, some candy pecans in here, or some walnuts if you'd like. You can go Asian with this. You could put um, some sesame seeds and cashews in here. You could put a ginger sesame dressing in here, which is really nice with that. Uh, some mandarin orange slices, really, really nice stuff here. Um, also, you know, you can go into, you could use this as a veggie um, stir fry starter. Nice starter for a stir fry. If you want to do a chicken stir fry one night, you know, you have a little bit left over, you can use it for that. Or, you know, you can pack it in your kid's lunchbox too. They can have a healthy little snack too. Really, really good, really, really hearty. Um, so let me introduce you to the, the, to the beautiful machine that made this, okay? This machine is fabulous. I did this salad in about five minutes, all right? So I have it right here. This is called the Kitchen Cutter, world famous Kitchen Cutter. It's been around about 80 years, all right? Um, it's very versatile. You know, the cones come off quick. They go on real quick. You know, suction cups down there. This used to have one suction cup and kind of had an issue with it, so we changed the design on it to this. We have three suction cups now that holds a lot better off of here. You know, the top comes off here, top comes off easy, clean, comes off, you can put it in the dishwasher. Blade safe here, blade safe in here, there's no blades really that are going to hurt you, just don't put your fingers down in, into the wedge, because that's where you can get, you know, a cut, which will turn your fingers into finger food or chef salad, <laughs> in my case, right? So, um, how many of us like potato chips out there? Yeah, we all love potato chips, right? We love potato chips because why? They're satisfying. You know, they satisfy your urge for some comfort food, right? But what don't we like about them? You know, you get home, you sit down and watch the game, and then you open the bag, and half the bag is full of what? Air, right? And it's got saturated fats in it, sometimes it's too much salt in it. Everybody has their own dietary needs, right? So maybe you don't want all that salt. So you can make uh, some potato chips relatively cheap, all right? You just go to the grocery store and you get yourself a bag of potatoes, some Idaho's, like I had gotten over at the store here. I got this down at the... Um, market basket. So I take a couple of the Idaho potatoes and I can put them right in here real quick. I have a sheet pan, put a little uh, olive oil on the sheet pan, put a little salt and pepper on it, take the potato and I can crank through that potato one. You lay them out down and nicely evenly cut. Okay, you can lay them flat out on there. You can put mesquite season on there. You can put Cajun spice on there if you'd like. Sky's the limit. Any flavor you'd like to have on there, you can put on there, okay? You do the second potato. Okay, now this, this is variable speeds here. You know, you can do whatever speed you want. You can go slow, you can go fast, you know, you can go in between. You just take your time and have a good time with this machine. It's really, really nice. Um, yeah, so just put them on that sheet pan, a little bit of salt, pepper, like I said, 350, 400 degrees, about 25 minutes in there. Um, just keep an eye on them to the, you know, the way you like them cooked. And that's it, be perfect for that there. Well, how many of you would like one of these if I was to give this to you? Well, I'm going to be getting some of these away later on during the show, so uh, just stick around, right, folks? So, um, has anybody seen one of our shows before? 
No? Okay. Um, has anybody here ever seen a kitchen cutter before? No? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys, let me show you guys the fastest carrot cutter ever, all right? I had to grab my bowl, sorry. So let me show you guys the fastest carrot cutter ever, all right? I'm gonna take these carrots, I'm gonna rip right through these real, real quick, all right? And you see how fast that works, and real easy too. So can anybody tell me the medicine that they found in the carrot? Bob? Oh, beta carotene? You are so correct, Bob. Perfect. You got it. Hey, what's your name? Oh, yeah, you're just in time. Come on in, Donna. Donna, my lovely wife. Sorry, folks. She coming in. Donna, you want a salad? I got some extra salad here for you. Where is it? Oh, uh, yeah, here you go, sweetheart. Come on over. I know you like ranch dressing. Come on, sit up front right over here, okay? I see you brought your friend with you. Who's that? Heather. Hey, Heather. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Oh, you're from New Hampshire? Nice. Very nice. So, like I said, um, welcome, guys. We're doing a healthy cooking show here. We're going to learn some things along the way. We just discussed that carrot has beta carotene in it, okay? This is the first known prevention of cancer, okay? It grows right in our own backyard. So it's really, really really easy and convenient to have. All these nice different vegetables that we can grow in our own yards and then we're gonna let's cook them in a certain way and it's gonna be perfect. You're gonna see the difference in all these vegetables that we're gonna to cook today. Okay? So I'm gonna take the, the, um, I'm gonna take the kitchen cutter and set this aside for a little bit. Also, I didn't mention this comes with five different cones. It has a julienne blade, a grating blade, it has a ruffle cut blade, and it has a, oops, sorry, a blade down at the bottom here for cutting french fries. It makes great french fries also, folks. So I'm gonna bring this back in a few minutes, all right? So today I'm gonna to introduce you guys into something called waterless cooking. Has anybody here ever heard of waterless cooking? Okay, great, well I'm gonna let you guys, fill you guys in on all this, all right? So today we're gonna to use, we're gonna take these carrots, okay? This is my one quart pan here. We're gonna put some of these carrots right in our one quart, all right? I'm gonna put a good amount in here in the bottom, all right? So I'm going to set these aside because I'm going to use these later on, guys, and we'll show you something else with that. All right. So, cutting board out. All right. So, like I said, beta carotene found in carrots, right? First known prevention of cancer. So next, I'd like to add into here some yellow squash. I'm sorry, no. I'm going to add in here some zucchini. All right. How many people like zucchini out there, ladies? You like zucchini? You like broccoli? Okay. Well, these two veggies are well-known preventers of colon and breast cancer. So keep on eating these. You know, fiber, a lot of fiber inside of broccoli. This is a superfood, really good for you. You can eat it a lot, okay? So we're gonna add some of that in here. Well, I got the zucchini in here. I like about zucchini is, zucchini is a very versatile vegetable. And you can grill it, you can saute it, you can marinate it, you can bake with it. There's so many different things you can do with it, all right? So it's, it's a really good veggie to have to eat a lot of also, okay? So then we're gonna put in here some yellow squash, right? Yellow squash, high in vitamin A, really versatile also. Um, high in antioxidants too, very good for you, all right? So we're gonna add some yellow squash in here. We're gonna put some corn on the cob. Corn on the cob is a great sugar stabilizer. A lot of people don't realize that. So we're gonna add some corn on the cob. Not really in season for corn on the cob, but wait till you taste this corn on the cob, folks. It's gonna be like you never had corn before. I'm gonna to top it off with some red bell pepper here. I'm gonna put some red bell pepper, and I'm gonna put some red cabbage in here. Now, we all eat with our eyes, right? Anybody ever hear that saying before? We all eat with our eyes, right? So can anybody tell me, I'm gonna fill you guys in a little secret. I'm gonna put this red cabbage in here also. What two colors make kids hungry? Does anybody know? That's right, red and yellow, right? So red and yellow, what, and what two colors are all major fast food restaurant signs? Does anybody know that? I heard somebody out there say it. Yes, I did. That's right, red and yellow, okay? You got McDonald's, Burger King, got Pizza Hut, Wendy's, they're all, all red and yellow. It's all designed to catch your eyes, to stimulate your appetite and get you in there to get to eat their food. Also, you go to the grocery store, they're using these colors also to get you and track you to buy things that they have. But we don't want McDonald's, right? Because McDonald's is not good food, we all know that. It's full of fat, full of cholesterol, full of sugar, 
full of car um, all these unneeded calories that you don't even need. So I have these veggies here. Now, when back in the day, when you were living at home, how did mom cook these veggies? What did she do? She would add what? Water, right? She'd take the water, add it in there, and then she'd do what? She'd put it on the burner, she'd turn it up to what? High, right? She'd take them, she'd let them cook for 20 minutes, she'd stab them and jab them, make sure they're dead, get a quick autopsy on them, okay? Then she did what? Once they were done, she took the juices and she did what with the juices, folks? She threw them where? Down the drain, right? So, she threw the juices down the drain like this, boom, down the drain. Now, you'd be better off drinking that juice than throwing away the vegetables because you can see that all that vitamins have already started to come out really, really quickly. They're all water-soluble vitamins there. I almost forgot to say, hey, you know, my name is Chef Brian, and um, I'm going to be your host chef today, so sorry about that, folks. Um, and on the count of three, let me get your names, all right? Ready? One, two, three. Hey, I think I got you guys. I got Bob, I got Donna, I got Heather, and I got Mary. Thank you guys for coming to my show. Welcome. I appreciate it. So... <clears throat> Yep. Okay, so I'm also proud to say that I have a famous chef here in the crowd with us today. So, hey, hey, Chef Pierre, how you doing out there? Oh, so what's your real name? Oh, John. Okay, John. So, John, all I really need you to do is just help me out here real quick. And just when you see some steam coming out the top of the, the, the top of the cookware here, just let me know, okay? That's all I need you to do. You don't need to get up and do anything because I don't pay you very well. So I just need a little assist here, all right? You got that? Great. Thank you very much, John. Appreciate it. Okay, and then there's waterless cooking, all right? I didn't take my timer down. Oops, sorry, guys. And then there's waterless cooking, okay? Up here, I have something cooking, what's called a slow gourmet cooker, okay? Uh, how many crock potters do we have out there? You guys like crock pots? This is kind of like a crock pot, but this is a stovetop oven that has its own burner coming in, all right? I mean, who would like to have dinner waiting for them when they come home? So. You can put in here a chicken, or you can put a Yankee pot roast in here or something, let it cook all day, put it on warm, and then have the food ready for you waiting when you come home. I mean, this, this is really great. The lid on here seals in all the natural juices and flavors. You get less shrinkage with this here. I mean, you can take this off of here, and you can use this as a stock pot. You can use it as for boiling pasta. You can use the pot for anything. It's really, really versatile. Okay, and check out our pan handler. Okay, this gives you a place to put your hot and dripping lid. And it's really, really nice for that. And if you want a smaller, um, smaller gourmet cooker, smaller, uh, <laughs> sorry, crock pot, you can just put your one pour on there also. So it's really, really great. So who would use one of these if I was to give this to you? I'm sure you would, you'd love that. So we're gonna have some more surprises for you, all right? Later on, we'll be getting some of those away too. I'm not gonna say that, I shouldn't have said that, but that's okay. So, I said greaseless cooking too, right? So y'all may be wondering, how can we cook without water and without grease, right? Well, let me explain, all right? So most pans are made out of one layer of metal, all right? So our American manufacturing company, <coughs> excuse me, has bonded together several layers, layers of alloys to make a 110 gauge thick thermal core. It's the thickest on the market, okay? It cooks from the bottom up, the top down, and the sides in, okay? And our patented lid has a vapor seal, which locks in all the nutrients, colors, flavors, and nutrition, keeping us healthy. All right? So, and I said grease was cooking. And, um, you know, if you should see the chicken that you can fry in this skillet here, all right? It cooks across the bottom and up the sides, all right? Very, very quick, very, very easy, and a lot healthier than eating that fried chicken from Kentucky Fried Chicken, right? Hey, also, I'd like to show you guys and introduce you to a pan that I've got from back in the, let's say this is from the early, late 50s, early 60s, okay? This is one of our three poly ply pans. Um, you can pass this around. Here, Bob, take that. This is a real American-made quality that's made to last forever. Pass that around and feel that in your hands, folks. Get a feel for it, all right? Okay, so, you know, then also I went to the mall, okay, and I got myself this $300 all-flat pan, okay, at Williams-Sonoma. 
It's a nice pan, great pan, good quality, made really nice, but the only thing I really don't like are these rivets inside that will actually collect bacteria over time. And the handles, solid steel, but the problem is they get hot and you can get burnt on those also. The other thing is you still gotta cook with water and you gotta cook with grease in this still, you know. Pretty much at that point, you're cooking out all the nutrition and stuff out of it, you know. So those are the things that I really am not happy about with these pans, but that's okay, they're great. Okay? You know, folks, we all take pride in our homes, right? We all have these beautiful kitchens. That's our most expensive room to, to uh, furnish in our house. This is where everybody spends a lot of their time. You have guests over, family over, everybody has a cup of coffee. You all eat dinner out there, can, you know, have conversations out there, family meetings go on out there. You know, you spend 30 grand on a set of cabinetry. You can spend up to $5,000 on a sub-zero refrigerator. $3,000 or dollars or more on a stainless steel range with a convection oven in it. Dishwashers, excuse me, but sadly somewhere lurking down underneath all that beautiful cabinetry is the only appliance that actually touches your food. It looks something like this. One lady told me she wished her stuff looked half that good, right? We all know this. This is the knuckle buster that we got, right? This box right The new one comes with a thing of band-aids in it, right? Okay, so also we have here, you know, dad's favorite egg pan, Teflon, which becomes Teflon in one year. The average person buys one of these pans, they throw it away for, for $25 a year, they buy a new one. And after 25 years, you come up with a $700 egg pan, right? That's why I have that price tag on there. You might have been wondering why that was there. <laughs> and then underneath that aluminum, okay, is the, I'm sorry, underneath the Teflon is aluminum. But you know what? I want to show you something here first, folks, okay? I want to show you that we can cook an egg, okay, in a sanitary stainless steel pan here. As long as you have the good stuff like we have, you can do it, no problem, all right? So I have our stainless steel egg pan here. Now, eggs have no fat in them. So we have to, it needs a little bit of help along the way, right? So what I like to use is a little bit of, um, I like to use a little bit of olive oil spray here. Okay, it's great. And then to make it even better, if you use extra virgin olive oil, even better for you, right? How many of us use those out there, all right? And then, you know, if you like, you can also use butter, okay? Butter's great. Butter's made by God. And God only knows who made margarine, right? You don't want to use margarine. This is one molecule away from being plastic, folks. Not good for you. Not heart healthy either. So like I said, I'm going to take this pan. I'm going to let it heat up for a second or two. I'm going to put that on medium. And then um, I'm going to crack an egg and put it in there and let the magic happen. All right, folks? So let me heat that for one second here. Put that in. Okay, we got a little oil in there. I'm going to crack that egg in there. We're going to let that set up in there. Okay, folks, perfect. So, like I said, uh, underneath that um, Teflon is, is aluminum. Anybody know what these, what's associated with the problems with aluminum? Some say Alzheimer's. Uh, I'm not a doctor, but you know, Alzheimer's, dementia, Parkinson's, uh, these things are associated with aluminum. You know, um, did you ever notice you can't go to the, um, you can't go out and buy yourself a dog dog dish that's made out of aluminum or a cat dish because you know what it's making it was making them sick. So I'm gonna take a little water and I got myself a scotch bright pad here. I'm gonna do a little test and show you guys something. All right, water. All right, a little water in there. Okay. Uh, so like I said. Now, aluminum has been banned in other countries, Europe, Canada. You're not allowed to use it to feed your dog, your cat. You can't feed it to humans in those countries either. But somehow, here we can use it to feed ourselves and our families. So, would, you, would you really want to have that? No, we don't really want to have that. So, not good. So, I'm going to show you here, okay? When you buy an aluminum pan, what happens? It's brand new, it's nice and shiny, and you use it a few times, and it gets all dark and brown, right? And then when you cook something with acid in it, what happens? It gets all shiny again, right? 
So when it gets all shiny again, where do you think all that acid? Oh, I'm sorry. Where do you think all that color goes from your pan? It goes right to your food, folks. Right? See? Look at that right there. See the color of that water? That's car that's aluminum oxide coming off and going into your food. So you're eating that in the end. Not good, right, folks? It's okay. Also, you know, we got our, you know, we got grandma's other favorite, grandma's favorite pan, cast iron. All right. What's the problem with cast iron? You have to season these pans, right? And then once you season them, you can't, you can't wash them again because everything's going to stick. So we have to buy them. You have to put oil on it, rub it in there, and then you have to bake them so that it seals up inside there. And then you know what? You can't wash them again, like I was saying. If you wash them, it all sticks again. So don't ever wash these pans. So how sanitary is that? I mean, would we want to have a um, cast iron sink to wash our veggies in? We want you know, and, and wash your, your dishes in? No. I mean, we can wash our hands, but we can't wash our pans. Not very good, right? And then uh, you know, you also have the online. You can buy over two different 100, 200 different kinds of uh, stainless steel um, waterless cookware out there. But you know what? You get what you pay for, right? This is a Chinese pan, stainless steel, and it doesn't work very well, right? So not very good, not high quality. If you want high quality, you're gonna buy something made from kitchen craft because we save you money in the long run, the other stuff doesn't. This here, I wanna show you folks, is how the kitchen craft is this. This is high quality stuff right here, okay? So I'd like you to take this pan and pass this around. So this pan, first let me describe some things to you here. Oh, my egg is getting closer, guys. All right. The egg's just about done here. All right. Okay, Bob. Hey, Bob. So how do you like your egg cooked, Bob? Okay. You like it over easy, sunny side up? Just want to show you that, you know, this egg is sliding around like it's on glass, folks. Like it's on ice. Okay, I'm gonna flip that egg over. Ready? One, two, three. All right. See that, Bob? Nice egg, over easy, perfectly cooked. No toxic coatings involved at all. Just some vir extra virgin olive oil spread. Perfect egg. Okay. So, like I was saying, let me take this off. I'm gonna put these guys back on here. Like I was saying, so we have here. This is kitchen craft. So you might be wondering why kitchen craft is so much better. So what we have done here at kitchen craft is we have taken all of our, we have taken all these pans here that I was showing you earlier, the stainless steel. We have the, the uh, Teflon area covered by it's, it's non-toxic and it's, you can cook an egg on it. You just saw, so it won't stick. Um, the aluminum, we have an aluminum core in here which holds the heat and evenly heats across the bottom. The difference is, you know, we have surgical stainless steel. It's on the outside, not on the inside, so your food never touches the aluminum, okay? We have a no-drip edge here, no 90-degree corners that are hard to clean on the inside. We have these handles, two different handles here made out of Bakelite with a pistol grip on them. It has a flame guard if you're going to be cooking on open flames and gas. Okay, it's really good for that. Also, induction ready, okay? Cooks on magnetics, that's what that is there. I mean, we even thought of like you can store your pan here, your, your lid there. You can hang your pots and pans up like this if you'd like. I mean, it's perfect. Really, really good. So I'd like you to pass this pan around, okay? You saw the old pan, and here's the new one, the new improved version, okay? This is like your iPhone 14. Pass that around, folks, okay? And our guarantee is guaranteed forever, and it's printed right on the side where this is all comes from, and it's all made, all right? The best part about it is, it's 100% American made, folks, and it's made right here in the United States, in West Bend, Wisconsin. It's awesome. I think that's one of the best features we have, folks. It's great. Okay. Thank you for the applause there. Pass that pan around. All right. Put that back there, folks. All right, so moving along here. All right, so like I said, warranty is really great. Okay, so next, we're gonna boil some carrots, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna set these off to the side. You saw the steam coming out, Bob, so if you see how that lid turns, the lid spins freely, that means that we have our thermal cores that reach the internal temperature that's proper. So we're gonna set these aside now, medium to off, and think of the money you're gonna save just right there. This cookware will pay for itself in its first year. Medium to off. 
So now I'm going to take our $300 pan that we got from William Sonoma, all right, and I'm going to cook some veggies in here. So now, what do I have to do? I have to add some carrots in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to cook these carrots, but what do I have to do? If I don't add any water in here, what's going to happen to our $300 pan, folks? It's going to burn, right? So we have to add water to that, all right? We're going to cook out all the nutrition. We're going to cook out all the fibers and the colors. You're going to see a difference in that there. Okay, folks? Now, think about it. When you cook these carrots like this, like I said, you're cooking out all that nutrition and all the vitamins and all the minerals are coming out. Now, when you make coffee, what do you do? When you make coffee, what happens is you take the grinds, you pour the water over them, and then you drink the, you drink the water that came out of the grinds, right? Well, this is just the opposite here. We're taking the water, we're throwing it out, and then, you know, we're taking the water and we're throwing it out, and then you know what? All those vitamins and minerals we're taking and we're throwing them down in the trash, you know? So then you gotta go down to the store and you gotta buy yourself some more vitamins and more minerals, okay? Cost you 25, 30 bucks just to get the vitamins and minerals back that you were just throwing down the garbage. You know, so now our garbage can is the healthiest member of our family. I mean, is that right? No, it's not. <laughs> so these are some of the advantages that we have by cooking this way, all right? So, basically, I'll show you the color difference here in the water. So, here's the water. I need a plate here. Okay. And you can see the difference in the color that's coming out of that. Alright? And we're taking that and we're throwing that down into the trash. Like I said, there goes all your vitamins and all your minerals and all that. All right? So, like I said, Bob, these are done, right? So I want you to feel, I want you to feel the difference. I want you to feel the top and the bottom, okay? The top is hotter than the bottom. This is how waterless cooking works. It cooks from the bottom up, the top down, and the sides in. So that's how that works. We need to walk. We already went over that. I don't know why I'm doing it again. Okay, so here's the difference here. We're going to show you the boiled carrots first, all right? So, if you go to waterlesscooking.com, you can see on there thousands of testimonies of people that have bought our cookware that have lost hundreds of pounds and lost hundreds of points of um, cholesterol in their, in their diet too, becoming a lot healthier over time. Um, so, put these carrots here, okay? I'm gonna pass these carrots out first. Okay. Now, a doctor buddy of mine, I'm gonna take, pass out these toothpicks here. Okay, here you go. Bob, take those with you over there. Pass those around, give everybody one of those, all right? You know, so, like I said, we're gonna come out here. So on the count of three, I know I'm skipping around. On the count of three, I want everybody to say wow, okay? What's wow? Wow is without water. Ready? One, two, three. Wow, look at that. Look at the colors in them vegetables there. I got the bright green colors. I got the yellow squashes, beautiful. The corn on the cob, I could just smell that. It smells great, right, folks? No army green there. The red is nice and red, all right? This is living food and living color for living people. Because why? We're all alive, right? Now, if your wife comes home after being out all day long with her girlfriend getting her hair done, she says, honey, why isn't dinner ready? You can tell her, yes, it is, sweetheart. And it's ready right here. Served for you on a silver platter. Look at that. And then... And then you can just take that, flip it over. So I got a, a quick meal cooked in less than 15 minutes and for like $4, folks. Right there on a plate for you. Okay, so really, really good, really, really quick. So I'm gonna pass these around. I want you guys to try these first. So we're gonna taste the difference between the two. All right? So I had a guy, I had a guy, <laughs> one of my doctor buddies here, he, 
He said that this is what they show people before they have their $350,000 bypass surgery done for heart, or heart attack or open heart surgery. Okay, we're all born, we have these nice clean arteries here, right? And then somewhere along the line, someone stops care and we go from eating Gerber's to eating burgers, right? I mean, pretty much over here is a heart attack, we can all tell, right? But can anybody tell me the average age of somebody whose veins have this partial blockage in them right here? 30? No, it's a little high. How about you? Donna? 12? Well, you're pretty close. It's 11. Excuse me, 11 years old with blockage like that. Why? Think about the diets we have. It's McDonald's, Burger King, Pizza Hut. You know, you know, with an arteries as, thin, as arteries as thin as a spaghetti strand, you know, without eating foods that are clean, high in fibers that are cooked this way, you know, it doesn't have a chance to clean out your arteries, right? So basically think about it. If you've taken grease and thrown it down your kitchen sink every, every day, what happens? Eventually, those arteries are going to clog up, right? It makes sense, doesn't it? And also, you know, you would be amazed here. Recently, the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, they have determined that the average adult human has 100,000 miles of arteries and veins in our body. Now, that's enough to wrap around the earth four different times, you know? And if one little microscopic piece of metal or fiber got caught in our bloodstream, without something to clean out that blood and all your arteries, the fibers and eating foods the proper way, that could be detrimental to us, you know? So, also, you know, this is, it's pretty funny. You know, once we had this 84-year-old grandma, she was at our show, and she said, you know what, I heard enough. I wanna buy eight different sets. And we said, eight sets? What are you going to do with eight sets? She said, well, I have seven grandchildren, you know, and what better gift for me to give them than the gift of health, right? I mean, that she's just so happy and amazed. She was amazed. So then we said, what are you going to do with that eight set? She goes, well, the eight set's going to be for me. She goes, I used to buy things I, want, I, deserve, I wanted, right? Now I'm going to buy something that I deserve for myself, right? You know, my husband out in his shed, he's got the ride-on lawnmowers, you know, craftsman tools, uh, Makita tools, all the high-end, high-quality stuff, and I've been cooking with stuff that looks like those beater pans you showed me earlier. So I said, I deserve this. I'm gonna, I need this stuff for me now to make things better in my life and make it easier for me to cook for my family. So, so folks, that's pretty much um, the end of the show here. So, hey, how was the corn? Did you like that corn, guys? Did you like the broccoli? How was the broccoli? Really good, huh? You can smell the difference in the food. You can taste the difference in the food. That corn, you don't even need to have sugar on it or butter or any kind of salt. Right, Bob? I mean, that was like the first time you ever had corn on a cob. <laughs> really, really great. So, you know, this is the end of the cooking portion of my show, like I was saying. So, you know, I realize that some of you guys are here just to rest, you know, get your mind off of other things. Some guys, some of you guys don't even know why you were here at all. And others of you wanted to stop by and see our show specials and get a free brochure, right? So how many of y'all wanted to get a free brochure? Raise your hands, all right? Okay, one, two, three. Okay, great, let me grab those for you. And everybody else, thank you very much and God bless, okay? So right now, I'd like to have your attention. Y'all can move up here, and move up front and center, all right? And then, um, so I can only go over this one time with you guys, all right? So I'm gonna clean up here real quick. Okay. So, right now, I'm going to go over our sets, all right? And then I'm going to go over those with you right now next, okay, folks? So, up here, on the top right, this is the kitchen cutter, okay? This, any of these items can be bought separately. We don't have, a, you know, it's not a problem at all. But, you know, we have these sets, so I'm going to go through them real quick. So, up here on the top right, this is the kitchen cutter. Like I said, it comes with five cones. It's commercial grade, great machine. It's been around 80 years. I use this machine a lot in my home, in my kitchen. It saves you a lot of time also. Then over here, we have the trio, okay? It includes our little egg pan that we cooked our egg in earlier, right? And meet the big brother over here. This is the man's pan. This is the big skillet here. This is great for making pancakes, stir fries. Um, you can do grilled cheese in there, you know, and it's also, it's the midnight skillet. You know, if he comes in after midnight, you know what to do, right? <laughs> so, 
And this here is our Jelly Roll Roaster Pan, okay? Great versatile pan, good for one pan meals, um, newlyweds. You can cook a roast chicken on here with all the veggies and the potatoes on there. Eat together and have one pan to clean. Great thing. Um, like to pass that around so you guys can feel what our bakeware is like. This is five ply bakeware. It will, will, will warp, bend, or buckle. High quality stuff, folks. The best you can ever get. All right. And then we have our four quart gourmet cooker over here. Okay. Really great piece of machinery here. Saves you time, saves you money. A lot of different things you can do with that also. Like I said, it works like a crock pot, except you don't smell the food. It's retaining all your nutrients inside. Then over here, we have the classic set. This has been around over 100 years, okay? This includes our one quart that we cooked your veggies in earlier. I love my one quart. I use this every day, man. This, 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 is, a great piece of, uh, this is a great piece of equipment right here. Very versatile. Then I have the all, um, this is the all-in-one pan here, okay? This, you notice it looks like kind of like a wok, so you can use it for stir fries. You can use this as an extra egg pan. You can put a small Cornish game head in here, cook dinner for two with all the veggies in there also. Okay, you could do waterless and greaseless in there because it has that lid. This is a two-quart saucier pan. This is great for making soups, sauces, um, small batches of soups. Um, you can also make oatmeal in here. You're gonna, anything you need to whisk in here, you can use this as a double boiler if you put it on top of a three-quart like that. You can melt chocolate in there. It's really good for stuff like that. Melt butter in there, okay? And like I said, this is the three-quart, okay? This is great for doing corn on the cob. Thing is, when you do corn on the cob, now you can stand up 10 years of corn on a cob in there, but when we do that, you need to have what? You need to have a vapor seal. So what you could do is you could take that two quart and put it on top, and now the corn on the cob is gonna stand up in there perfectly and let you cook there, like that. Okay. So that's uh, pretty, pretty cool how there's different things that we can do with these pots and pans, all right? And this here is the Freedom Skillet. So why do we call this the Freedom Skillet? because you're free of cooking with oil and with grease in this pan here. You can do some really, really nice greaseless fried chicken in here too. Um, this here is our 10 inch skillet, great for eggs, searing seafood off. Um, really, really nice piece. I use that pan a lot in my home. Okay, so that's our, that's our um, classic set, folks. So what also with the classic set I'd like to mention is that all this stuff will stack up into one stack, and you can fit this in like an 18-inch cabinet, okay? So let me demonstrate that for you real quick here. So all of the lids actually will fit right inside the pans if you flip them over upside down like this, okay? Okay, and we can put that pan on top of here, okay? We can put this one up on top of here, the three-quart. You can put the flex, I'm sorry, you can put the all-in-one pan up there on the top like that. You can put the one quart up here. You can put a two quart, actually, two quart here like this, and put the one quart in there. And look at that, folks. All that will fit into one 18 inch cabinet. That's amazing. This is great for RVing also, when you have limited space. Most kitchens, we all have, you know, we also want to, want to save space in our kitchen, so it's great for that also. And there's one other thing I'll show you in a second, folks. Um, so, this is great for a family of one to four, okay? The, uh, Classic sets, great for a family of one to four. And if you have a larger family and if you like to entertain a little bit more, you know, you can include the bigger pieces here and this will become the deluxe set. So down here, I have a six quart Dutch oven. This thing is amazing, it's great. You can do a lot of things in here. You can do bigger, bigger turkey. You can do a small turkey in here, larger chickens in here. You can do your chilies, you can do pastas in here. You can even do a New England clam bake in here if you wanted to. But um. This pan over here right next to it, this is a pretty cool pan here. This is called a three-in-one roaster pan. I like this pan because you can do stuffed peppers in it, you can do lasagna, stir fries in it, but what it really does, that's kind of cool, is it turns into a dome, okay, for the six quart. Now you have an eight quart Dutch oven right here, which you can do just perfectly, you know, which you can do and use that for like that. But there's something else like I wanted to mention to you guys a minute ago. So we do something with kitchen craft that you can't do with any other pans, and it's called stack cooking. Where I can have that, that turkey or that chicken in here cooking. I can put on the top of here a pot of rice cooking, nice and slow, right? Start it off, let it simmer, let it finish up here on there, right? So now let's say you, uh, you have, like I said, you could put your, or you could put corn on a cob in there, like I was mentioning earlier. Put that up on top of there. You know, you can put some gravy up on top of this. Now you're only using one burner. So you only lose a few degrees of temperature from top to bottom because we have high quality metals here. 
So, you know, it's really, really cool. You can do this for um, when you have a big family event or the big holidays when you have so much stuff cooking, and, you know, and you have no room. So you do one burner here, you're sure you're saving energy too. So it's really, really neat for that. We don't recommend you do this in California though, because you know there's earthquakes out there, right? So you know, we don't want to have any big, big, big problems like that. So we just rearrange these quick. So like I said, so that's the classic set. All right, and that's the, and the deluxe set here is that. And also the deluxe set includes the 12 inch skillet over here with the lid, which is pretty much almost the same as the, all, um, as the, <coughs> sorry, as the Freedom Skillet, it's just a larger version of the Freedom Skillet for bigger families. More fried chicken in there, more stir fry size in there. Really, really great, beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment right there. And then up on the top here, with all these here, this is all the work set, okay? This is called the work set. Comes with the amazing five quart wok here, which is great for making stir fries for large events. Also a great popcorn maker. Amazing popcorn you can make with that. This is the eight quart Dutch oven, two gallon size here. Like I said, you can put this back on, you know, you can make big batches of sauces in here. You could do the New England clam bacon here. You could put lobster corn on the cob, potatoes in there, steamers in there, mussels in there. You could throw some crab in there, cover it up and let it cook. You've got one pot to clean. It's amazing too. I think that's awesome. And over here we have our heirloom quality bakeware. It's all five ply, like I mentioned earlier. This is the medium sized cookie sheet. Um, I'm gonna take that and pass that around. I want you guys to feel the weight and the quality of that, okay? Pass that around, Donna, please, okay? Hand that around. And then over here, we have a loaf pan, which is great for making zucchini breads, and you can make your meat loaves in here. You can do a galantine in there if you'd like to. This here is a, is a nine by 13 bacon roast pan. This is great for making lasagnas, okay? You can make brownies in here. You can roast a prime rib in there if you wanted to. It's perfect for that, too. And last but not least is the world famous 11 inch square griddle. Okay, now this square griddle is great because this is great for going camping too. I mean, if you want to use this on an open flame, little trick, you put a little bit of Dawn detergent on the bottom, put it on the fire, and then when you're done, all that black stuff will wash right off. But this is great for doing any kind of breakfast items. You can sear steaks on here also. You can grill veggies on here on an open flame. You can do all kinds of different things with that. It's a great, great piece of equipment also, folks. So. Those are our sets, all right? So let's move on to the best part, all right, folks? How much does good, good cookware cost, all right? Okay, so good cookware is like anything else, you know? Let me show you, again, the most expensive pans that you can buy. These are the most expensive pans you can buy. Why? Because you buy them and you buy them over and over again. They throw them away. This is disposable cookware. Remember the $700 price tag I showed you guys earlier, right? You throw it out, it's in the landfill, now you're polluting the earth. So you end up going by on that all the time. But where, this is where kitchen craft saves you money because you only buy it one time and it's guaranteed to last you forever. So you're going to make a great investment in this. You know, a good set of cookware cost $800 40 years ago. Now, when you bought a Chevy back then, it would probably cost you $3,500 to $4,000, depending on what you got. Today, if you went to go buy a Chevy, it probably cost you $40,000, $35,000, depending on what you buy. So, you know, when you make an investment, the price goes up, right? So it's a good thing to do. Like, how many other things are you going to get that are, you know, are that quality? So, you know... The all plaid pan, you know, you can go to Williams Sonoma and buy these here for anywhere from two hundred to five hundred dollars a piece. You know, it sets costs two to four thousand dollars a set. So, I mean, here's the flyer that I got that shows you all that. You know, the great pans. The only problem I have with them, I said, was the rivets in them. The handles get hot, and you know, the steel is not the same quality. These are not these are not seven ply pans. And the other thing is, you know. Kitchen craft, everything you see here is 100% made here in the United States, okay? All American made from the boxes we ship in to the pans, to the metals, to the rivets, to everything that our, our pans are made out of, okay? The bake light handles, everything. Now, this is stainless steel, and this is made here in the United States, but they outsource their metals to China and to Russia. Now, how many more people, how many people are trying to buy American when we can, right? We're all trying to buy American. It's great. You want to keep America running, right? 
So this is stuff that's not made in Hong Kong, King Kong, or jobs gone. This stuff's going to last you forever, folks, all right? So, guys, get your pens out, all right? So we're going to go over the show specials, okay? So up here, like I said, the top right is the kitchen cutter, all right? Now the kitchen cutter retails at the restaurant supply store for $395. And it's on sale for right now for here at this show only for $345. That's less than my last Comcast bill. And then we have over here the three-piece trio, okay? Which is great for stir-frying, stir roasting, and sauteing, okay? This retails online for $559. And it's on sale for less than my last Smart TV only $489, folks. So right up in here, $489. And over here on the left, uh, my left and your right, I'm sorry, we have the Four Quart Gourmet Cooker, which retails for $495. And it's on sale for less than half of what I paid for my last cell phone, only $489. Now, we come down to our 10-piece classic set here, okay, which cost $800 40 years ago. It retails for $25.95 and is on sale for less than my last obsolete Apple laptop. It's only on sale for $23.95, folks. And the deluxe set is always our best value. This retails for $38.95, okay? It's factory deck, direct, and is on sale for less than a one-night stay at Monadnock Memorial Hospital at $34.95. And the works, folks, is on the back side of, this, of our pamphlet here, okay? And the works includes everything, all right? Why not get everything, right? Get it all, folks, okay? So the works is on sale up here. It includes everything you see up here, okay, including me. Me, I'm sorry, <laughs> including me. It retails for $59.95. It is on sale for less than my dining room set that I only used two times last year. It's on sale for 40, only $46.95 here at the show today, folks. Okay, these are all great values, okay? Guaranteed to last you forever. I mean, it's great stuff. You take your old stuff to the thrift store at the church, give it away, and you can have yourself a great set of stainless steel cookware that's guaranteed to last forever. All right. So, now, we're on to my favorite part, folks. How many of us like free gifts? How many of you like our cookware out there? Right? And who would agree that if we ate this way, we would ate this way, we would be healthier, live longer, and avoid major sicknesses and illnesses, including those viruses, right? And one last question. If everything that we've bought had that same guarantee for lifelong guarantee, heirloom quality, and you never had to buy it again, where would we be today as a country and financially? Okay? I think it's awesome and incredible. So um, <clears throat> also, we have also so anybody can afford to eat this way and cook this way because we have a layaway plan that's less than a Starbucks a day. Starbucks a day costs you about five bucks a day. After 30 days, you spend $150 on a cup of coffee, right? And we have a flex pay credit card plan where we take the payments and divide them into three. You get the most points added to your card, and then you get your cookware delivered to your house next week. So you have it all ready there for you, perfect and ready to use. And we also take cash, checks, cows, pigs, rowdy children. Um, we take jewelry. We just want you to cook for healthy for you and your family. So, you know, folks, we come to these shows because we want to better ourselves, buy nice things for our houses and our families. But I can assure you, folks, that there's nothing more that would benefit you more than healthy cooking for you and your family. So now... What I normally do is, for the first person who raises the first two to three people who raise their hands and say that they want to buy a set right now during this demo, what we normally do is give away the kitchen cutter. But because business has been good, okay, and I really, really want to help you guys get this stuff in your this cookware, fine cookware into your into your houses and start cooking good for you and your families, I'm allowed to also offer to you. Either a choice, if you buy a set right now during the show, a choice of the kitchen cutter or the trio. Now, that's a great value. Say thank you, Brian. <laughs> thank you, Brian. You're welcome, folks. No problem. Now, you know, the new norm has also been everybody's cooking at home, right? 
you know, cooking at home, why? Because you know, it's a safe, clean environment to cook. You're saving money. Inflation's going up, right? You know, because business has been good and the new norm is that, you know, the average family, if you stayed home and ate one meal, gourmet cooker meal a week, you'd save a hundred dollars. You could save a hundred dollars a week easily. That's four hundred dollars a month. You're looking at six thousand dollars a year. Ten years, you saved over sixty thousand dollars just on eating one meal at home. You know, so that because business is good, you know, more people are buying American-made products too, right? We all want to buy American-made. We want to support our country, so. I'm able to give away at my own discretion from the factory workers because they appreciate what you're buying also. Uh, myself and the factory workers are, are going to give away to anybody who buys this set here, not only the choice of the kitchen cutter or the trio, you're also going to get one extra box delivered to you when you get that stuff delivered to your house. And in that box is going to be the amazing four quart gourmet cooker. Now, isn't that great, folks? I think that is a great addition to anybody's family and to your house. So thank you very much. Say thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. So one other thing I want to mention is that we're a veteran-owned company, okay? And our owner, Mr. Hurley, he's an amazing guy. He's went to all the major four, all the major armed forces in our country, and he's gotten the rights to actually go out and get the major um, insignias put onto these beautiful knobs, okay? So if you have anybody in your family who's been in the Army, Navy, Air Force, or Marine, if you write it down and let us know, um, we will also include a free set of these knobs. We also have police and fire at it in there also. So just let me know, folks. All right? So now, um, I'm going to go around. I'm going to signature everything for you guys. But um, So when you write in which, which item you want, I want you to take your hymnals out here, all right? I want you to take out your prescription for your family's better health. Okay, and down here on the lower left, it says classic set, deluxe set, work set. Just pick out whatever set's good for you. If you have any questions, I can answer that for you. And then the trio or the kitchen cutter, you can check off whichever one suits you guys best. But I would like you to write in there next to that the, our favorite four letter word in the English language free. F R E E. Write those right in there, okay, folks? So then. Also, like I said, I mentioned, you'll get the four quart, uh, four quart gourmet cooker. So you can check that off down over here. And I'd like you to write in there gift, okay? Gift, G-I-F-T. Then also, we, if you guys should just take another second, I have up here, there's a one, one, quest, one, one question questionnaire. And it says up here, uh, what impressed you most about kitchen craft? Was it healthier? Was it war the warranty, the taste, American made, or the chef? You can check off as many of those as you like, but when you get over to the last one that says the chef, check the chef off. And if you don't want to check the chef, I don't know why you wouldn't want to check the chef, just check it off anyway. Help me out, okay, folks? I really appreciate that, okay? So, like I said, um, who wants the first one? Bob. Oh, you, you want to get one, Bob? Perfect, Bob. Say, I'll come over, Bob, and I'll answer any questions you have, all right? How many people are you cooking for, Bob? You got four people? Well, the classic set would be perfect for you, okay? Classic set would be perfect for you. So when you fill in here, you're just gonna check off classic set, you put the date in there, your name, your billing address. If your address is the same as where you want it shipped, just check off, check off same there, okay? And that's it, okay? Thanks a lot, folks. I appreciate you guys spending time with me. Thank you very much. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.